Ever since his presidential nomination two months ago, Vice President Lai Qingde has been traveling around the country to set up campaign offices. On Sunday, he went to Nanto, where he met his supporters in central Taiwan. The day also happened to be the 34th anniversary of the Tiananmen Square protests. Lai used the occasion to criticize China's suppression of the student movement and its disregard for freedom and democracy. He said the people of Taiwan must remain united in the face of China's constant threats and military intimidation. Nearly a thousand supporters gathered at the opening of Lai Qingde's unofficial campaign office in Nanto, dubbed Friends of Lai. The passion of the people on display was something for which Lai was grateful. Earlier this year, Lai came here to stump for Tsai Pei Hui, who ran on a DPP ticket in a by-election. That was Lai's first campaign as chairman of the DPP. In the end, Tsai was elected. Today, after taking the stage, Lai bowed to the crowd in a gesture of thanks. You gave Tsai Pei Hui a chance, and being in Nanto as the chair of the DPP, I am filled with gratitude. I hereby bow my head to thank you again. At the inauguration of the campaign office, 149 campaign directors were welcomed into the fold. Lai shook hands with each of them to show his sincerity. Sunday also happened to be June 4th, which marked the 34th anniversary of the Tiananmen Square Massacre, which happened on June 4, 1989. Lai used the occasion to censure China's ever-increasing authoritarianism. China suppressed the student movement and refused to accept the demands of the students. The current situation has become worse than in the past. But Taiwan's current achievements in democracy are among the top 10 in the world and in the first place in Asia. While on the subject of cross-strait tensions, Lai called on the people of Taiwan to remain united and not fear any threats. The threat from China is something we should face seriously. We must not take it lightly, and we do not need to provoke them. The institution of freedom and democracy must be upheld. The Republic of China and the People's Republic of China are not subjugated to each other. That's something we must insist on as well. As he guns for the top seat in the 2024 elections, Lai reiterates that defending Taiwan's sovereignty will be his responsibility.